All right, y'all. Here comes a Spanish mackerel cleaning cook. Um, I caught him about two days ago. I just haven't had time to clean him. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get him cleaned up and show y'all a little recipe of how I like to do them. And if you guys are interested in seeing me catch this fish, I do have a video I will link in the, in the description of me catching him. I'm all paranoid, it's like who's listening to me talk to a camera. But anyway, um, you guys stay tuned. I think this recipe is really good. It's simple and it takes no time. It's one of the easiest fishes, 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 fish to clean. So you guys stay tuned and enjoy the video. Peace. All right, so what we got here is a glorious Spanish mackerel. Um, these fish are crazy fast fish. They like to feed on the surface and just attack bait at will. As you can see, their teeth are pretty bad, but they are super easy to clean. I'm about to show y'all how easy it is. You know what sucks is I lost my good fillet knife, my Dexter, and my knife sharpener when I did that garfish, when I did that garfish catching cook, or catch cleaning cook, whatever I did, I lost my knife. So that kinda sucks, but let me get a good angle here. All right guys, I um recorded this video and I just realized the uh, box I'm cleaning this fish on has my address on it. So I had to come back and zoom in on special spots on this video to hide my dress. So I hope you guys understand and uh, I appreciate you for watching and have a good one. I'm just going to fillet it like a regular fish. Ride the back on. Boom. All right, let's see what that looks like. As you can see, it's a clean, clean piece of meat. Cut that little rib cage out here. I'll show you all that in a second, but I can literally fillet this fish in 10 seconds. That's how easy he is. Nothing to it. Just don't be too aggressive because they are soft. And Shazam. We got my kitty over here waiting for a piece. We might let her have some mackerel. She's never had mackerel. I haven't had mackerel in a while, so. It's a win-win for both of us. I'm just cutting the rib cage out. Just take the skin off and everything. I'm gonna give her a little piece. Little oh, fishies. How is it? Ah, we'll give her a minute. But anyway, you didn't come to see this. You came to see this. This is bad. But anyway, yeah, the rib cage is gone. This fish is already cleaned. No scales. As you can see, um, we're just gonna cut this little rib cage piece out here too. Bam! Rib cage is gone. And if you take a look, you have a nice, beautiful piece of Spanish mackerel, white meat fish, man. Delicious, mild, and nutritious, maybe. But we do have some bones here I forgot about. We do have a little bit of bone. It's uh, I wanna say it's about from here. Okay, so basically, you can just ride it down. I wanna say that was pretty much all of it. There's a couple little pin bones right in the middle. Okay, those are gone. But right here, nice and cleaned, beautiful and ready to go. So. I'm gonna get them seasoned up, get them ready, prepared, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cook them. All right, so I've decided I'm gonna slice a lemon, slice a lemon up. I'm gonna do a few slices out of it. All right, probably should have put something down for that, but I cleaned the counter off. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some blackened seasoning. The, uh, this one's blackened, uh, Cajun's Choice blackened seasoning. There are better brands out there that are probably a little better, but this works for me. I'm gonna put a lot of this. All 
All right, uh, that's plenty. It always takes a little more than you think with black moon seasoning. And now we're gonna take a little salt. A little salt. All right, and then we're gonna take the ends of this lemon, squeeze some lemon juice on it. And then put these uh, slices down right on top. For continuity here, whatever that means, uh, I'm gonna put this little piece on here for for that part. Yeah, that works. That works. Now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna hit it with the broiler for about five to six minutes because it cooks really fast, mackerel. It's it's really easy, and uh, we'll see what it looks like in you know the next few minutes. I'll get back. All right. Also, drizzle a little olive oil. Forgot to do it. Trying to drizzle it without it going everywhere. It's just olive oil. Can't hurt you. All right, a little bit up the top. All right, boom, we got a little. Okay, that's perfect. Get over here. All right, we're good. All right, there we go. Let's get them in the oven. Whenever it preheats, because I forgot to preheat it. Look at this little tripod. Look at it, it's pathetic. But anyway, let's get to the oven. Broiler's ready to go. Got our fish in hand. And we're just gonna broil these bad boys for like seven minutes. So, once we do that, we're gonna be golden six seven. If you, in case you didn't know how to count, that's you know five plus two is seven. Let me shut up. All right, and there it is. Cooked it for about six minutes with the broiler, and as you can see, it's done. It's flaky. You get in there. It's flaky. It's uh, it's good. It's mackerel, fish in general cooks really fast so as you can see where's the camera just perfect mm -mm. okay let me get to the table okay so as you can see it darkened up really good with that blackening seasoning it's, it's really flaky my cat's sprinting all over the house um, but yeah let's get a piece of this so let's go ahead and rotate it it's like my tradition to eat here at the kids table now the skin I don't think I eat the skin, I don't remember. I think I'll take the skin off. Or eat it off the skin because you know that's the darker meat. Which I don't really care for in any fish. So anyway. Nice nice little piece right there. Let's go ahead and eat it. Hmm. Hmm. to miss some bones and uh man it's so hard to record while doing this the camera zooms in too close to my face all right let's get us a good piece with no bones all right let's do this for real Mackerel, man, for the win. It's uh, it's mild. All right, I had some technical difficulties there. I hit a pocket of bones that I guess I missed somehow, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to record. And eat. Like I said, I can't do anything left-handed. It's good. Let me stop before I drag this out. This vid this video. This fish is really good. It's delicious. It's mild. It's flaky. It's a little soft, but it's good. There's nothing wrong with Spanish mackerel. 
Um, as you can see, you could boil it, broil it, and blacken it, and uh, it comes out just fine. I, I would stick to like not frying this fish as much. I would do it on a grill, you know, in the oven, on a saute pan, and uh, yeah. But as far as frying, I heard it doesn't hold up well, but it's a, it's a good white flesh fish. All right, guys. That is all for this one. Sorry if it, you know the energy is a little low. I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, I'm tired. So thank you all for watching and uh, hit me up if you have any questions and y'all have a good day.